pornography. See, pornography is a multi-billion dollar industry. And just like any other multi-billion dollar industry, the, the, their marketing teams are brilliant. That's how they make their money. And just like a soft drink company or a car company will try to convince you that there's something that you need and that the only way you can get it fulfilled is through their product, internet porn is brilliant like this. A friend was sharing with me all the things that go on behind the scenes. They, they do massive studies to see how long the typical guy, and I know it's men and women start with pornography, but it's primarily men, that how long the typical guy will spend on a website before he'll leave. And so they make these free clips that they put online just the right length to be short enough to keep them online longer so they can make more money. Not only that, they, they're trying to tailor people's opinions of what they want because they need to have people believe, this is what I need and I can't get it anywhere else. And what they're trying to train people to think is, I need young girls, I need multiple partners, I need deviant sex that my wife won't give me because they know there's nowhere else you'll be able to go to get it. It's marketing. You're duped. And it rewires your brain to think that women are objects, that, that, that women are objects to give sex on demand whenever you want, in any way that you want, with no emotional relationship connection. And what happens is normal relationships, normal marriages no longer suffice. And so where do these men run? Prostitutes. And what are they looking for? Young or multiple partners or deviant sex that they can't get at home because they've been trained to think that that's what they need. And where they get it is on young slaves. What does this mean? It means if you're viewing pornography, you are increasing demand for pornography. If you are viewing pornography, you are increasing demand for sex slavery. If you are viewing pornography, you are complicit in slavery. When you click on the mouse, you abuse a child. Like Abram, who looked at Hagar as an object to be thrown away, said to his wife, just do what you want with her. That's what pornography does today. 